Hello friends! We are back with another DIY for you today and this is going to be a pretty lengthy DIY. Um, I probably won't split it into two parts but um, just be prepared that it's going to be a pretty lengthy DIY. It's pretty detailed. Um, so let's just kind of go over the supplies that you are going to need for this DIY. First of all, I am using eight of these five by seven picture frames from the Dollar Tree. These are those ones with the silver um, kind of um, thick frames on them. Um, I found quite a few of them at my Dollar Tree, so I grabbed a bunch of them. I'm going to use eight of them for this project. I also am using five of these little tea light holders with the wire rack like that. Those also came from the Dollar Tree. I've got five pages of scrapbooking paper. Um, you can pick whatever colors you want. Um, if you want to do this seasonally, um, this is actually going to be used as a background to your project. So pick colors that you're going to want to use um, with your decor in your home. Um, I am actually kind of going for this like black and white striped theme this year for a lot of my decorating. So I'm going to incorporate the black and white stripe into some other kind of fall colors for this project. All right, I also have some ribbon. This is the wire uh, burlap ribbon. I'm gonna use some of that. Um, then I have a few different glues that we're gonna use. So I have the Fix All Adhesive. That is from the Dollar Tree. I kind of prefer this adhesive. I also have Liquid Nail. This is heavy duty, heavy duty construction adhesive. This stuff is like serious, serious adhesive. Um, I'm going to use this only because we're going to be hanging this project and I wanted to make sure the pieces are like glued together really, really well. Also, um, I'm using this as well because I was considering putting this in my bathroom initially and where your bathroom gets a lot of humidity, I wanted something that was going to be like water resistant, which this one is water resistant and weather resistant. Um, so if you wanted to put this project in your bathroom, you definitely could as well if you use the liquid okay. nail. Okay, then I picked up this little um, picture hanging kit. This came from the Dollar Tree as well. This has all kinds of little nails and hangers and wire and everything that you're gonna to need to hang pictures. So we're gonna use that. I have some hot glue and then obviously some scissors and a cutter. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna start working on the pieces that are gonna go inside our picture frames here. So we have eight picture frames, so I'm gonna cut out eight pieces of five by seven. This paper that I have is the standard 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper. So we're gonna cut eight pieces out of this. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do for a, um, how I'm gonna arrange these yet in my picture frames, but I at least know I wanna have eight of them. Let's get cutting. I'm actually gonna use my cutter right here. This is the Paper Studio cutter. Um, honestly, I don't remember where I got this from. Maybe Joanne Fabric, maybe Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. Um, I've had it for a while. I use it a lot. So I am just gonna use the measuring tool right on here to cut out a five by seven. I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to do this for all of the paper. This is really nice because it's it makes cutting really quick. Um, and I think this thing was only like $10. So really inexpensive and it cuts nice straight um, pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my paper out. Like I said, I'm going to need eight of these inserts. Okay, so I have all eight of my five by seven pieces cut out of my cardstock. And now I'm going to work on just taking the plastic off of the frames here. And I'm going to just start inserting this paper underneath the glass of each one of the frames and then putting the frame back together. Just like that. And I'm gonna do this for every single one of the frames that we have. All right, so now I have all of my paper in all of my frames like this. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna flip these frames over and we are gonna remove this stand that um, holds up like a picture frame in the back. So um, really I'm just gonna go through all of them. If you're really careful with it, you should be able to just kind of pull it up and then, then twist it just a little bit and it should come right off without too much trouble. You don't want to, um, you don't want to really 
um, try to bend the back at all. Even if it pulls a little of the paper off, that's fine. You're not going to see the back. You just don't want these bulky pieces on the back. Right, so I'm going to start uh, working on these little tea light holders right here. What we're going to do is we're going to add like a little decorative ribbon around the bottom with this wired burlap ribbon that we have here. Um, I cut five strips um, 14 inches long of the burlap ribbon, um, five strips, one for each one of the little tea light holders here. So I've got my hot glue heated up. I'm going to take one of my strips and I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to work on one of the very, one of the bottom corner um, pieces right here. And I'm just going to put a bead of glue about the length of the ribbon right on the metal and I'm gonna just lay my ribbon on that kind of fold it over be careful of your fingers because the glue does um, seep through that burlap ribbon and I'm gonna just kind of fold over the edge of the ribbon just to kind of so it like wraps around one of these little wire pieces so I'm just gonna fold it and kind of squeeze it into place then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some more of the glue and I'm just gonna glue down that flap so put some more glue in there and I'm just gonna glue down that flap just like that okay now we're gonna take and we're gonna wrap this around we're gonna wrap it right around the box um, and we're gonna leave one side open so the ribbon is gonna wrap around three sides of the box and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the third wire piece and we're gonna wrap that wired ribbon around and kind of pull it tight pull it really tight so that way um, the ribbon is tight all around the front um, sides of the box. So we're going to do this same thing for each one of these little tea light holders right here. All right, so we got all of the little tea light holders covered in that burlap ribbon. You can kind of see I've done three sides, but I've left one side open. This side that's open is going to be the side that we are going to glue to one of these frames right here. So um, I'm going to set those aside. Now what I've also done is I've arranged all of my frames with the um, print, the printed paper on the inside. I've arranged them how I like them. I'll kind of give you a better view here. Um, I just kind of put them in a pattern that I've liked. And what I've done is I've laid out... Um, six of the frames on the bottom and I'm actually kind of using my table here as a guide so I um, lined the bottom of each one of these three frames up and then um, I've got about an inch and a half space between the two bottom um, frames right here and then I've lined up the top frames to e to be about the same um, you want them to be even with the bottom frames right here and then um, you want to make sure this top piece up here is even and then you're going to place these frames whatever frames you want on the front you're going to be placing those on top of the six frames right here so now we've got kind of like a stacked frame look so now we're going to use our that liquid nail glue um, mine's actually already starting to come out of the top here, but what we're going to do is I am going to put some of this glue on the bottom of the top piece and the middle piece. I'm going to put the glue just like this because I'm going to be setting this frame down into that glue and then I'm going to put some of the glue down here. On these frames you just want to make sure that your frames are where you want them because this glue once it sets it like really really sets so 
I've got a little bit on this corner, a little on this corner, and then the corners at the bottom. Now we're gonna just take our frame right here and we're gonna set this frame right down into that glue. Just gonna make sure that it's exactly where we want it. Now you can move it around a little bit with this glue. It doesn't set right away. You are gonna have to let this sit for a while. If you have some glue that's like seeping out, um, what you can just wipe it off um i'm just gonna wipe it off on a paper towel and i'm gonna do the same thing with this frame over here all right and then i'm gonna take my other frame just gonna make sure it's lined up evenly with this one right here and that it lines up evenly with my other frames and that everything is all lined then up. Then we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna let this dry for quite a while, um, probably a couple of hours before we um, decide to move it. But I'm actually going to work on um, applying these tea light holders to the front of the frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna glue one to the top, to the top frame. I'm going to glue um, two of them to the middle frames and then two to the bottom corner frames, just like that. To glue these in place, I'm actually going to use the Fix All Adhesive. You can use E6000 if you'd want. Um, I like the Fix All Adhesive. It's pretty much the same thing as the E6000. This is the dollar store brand. I honestly prefer this one better than E6000. So that's what I'm actually going to use to glue these to the glass. So I am just going to now pop open a new tube of this super glue, super glue fix all adhesive. And now I'm going to use this side that is open and I'm just going to put, I'm going to be generous with this and I'm just going to put some of this glue all around the entire frame of this tea light holder. Just like that. So now that's covered in glue and I'm going to set that right down onto the glass of my um, top frame and I'm going to do that same thing for all four other frame all four other tea light holders that I have All right, so I've let this whole um, framed uh, Wall hanging dry for about 24 hours And so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to it's I can pick it right up It's all one piece now and what we're gonna do now is we are going to flip it over so it's on its back. Now we're going to start hanging the um, hanging piece so that we can hang it on the wall. So from the Dollar Tree, I picked up this little packet of picture, it's a picture hanging kit. So I'm gonna use a couple of the hangers that are in here. We're gonna use um, probably two we're gonna use two of these little um, screw in hangers. And we're also going to use one of the little rings of wire, picture frame hanging wire. I've already done one. I've screwed one into this front frame um, in the middle, um, like the top right in between the two top right frames. It's, it kind of dips down, so this isn't gonna poke out into the wall. And then I'm gonna do the other one, um, the same spot on this frame right here. So basically you just kind of have to put a little pressure on these um, and then twist them in just like you would um, like a teacup hook. Okay, so I have one side all strung, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string the other side. So basically, I'm just gonna take this wire, I'm gonna go through the little hook right here, and I'm gonna go through only um, so that I have enough so that if this is hanging, it's not gonna be higher than this top picture frame. So I want it about right there. Um, I'm gonna go back over, um, it's, so it's through the hook once, whoops, it's through the hook once, I'm gonna go back through the hook a second time, and then back through the hook three times. Right there, whoops. 
Okay. And then I'm going to wrap it around, wrap this wire around, and then I'm going to just, I, you can clip it, which is fine, and clip the other side, just so you don't have these like long pieces. And I actually just bend, bend my wire back down. So now we have a nice hanger to our wall piece right here. Now let's hang this up on the wall and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is in my foyer hanging. It looks really cute. I need to still put some tea lights in the little candle holders and I'm thinking about dressing it up just a little bit with some fall foliage. Um, but other than that, I think it came out really cute and it's pretty substantial too because it takes up a good amount of space on this wall. So I hope you enjoyed this little DIY wall hanging. Um, if you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stick around because I have lots of DIYs coming up for this coming fall and winter season. Have a great day, guys. Take care.